My name is Amelia Liu. I have the coolest job in the world because I get to play with robots for a living. My name is Professor Jonathan Roberts and science helps me make amazing advances in robotics. So a typical day for us is to go and visit a site. So we may go and visit a factory and we'll try and understand their problems. They often approach us because they've got problems that they think a robot can solve. So we'll go and see the exact problem, try and work out the crux of the issue. And then from then on, my job is to then incorporate the robotics and build this machine together, whether in simulation or actually on the robot. And try and prototype the solution for them. So an interesting fact about my job is, as a mechatronics engineer, we often have to actually build things twice. The first time to just figure out what we actually need to build, and then the second time to actually build this thing. What inspired me to get into robotics was of course Star Wars. I was just exactly that age that I was seven years old when Star Wars came out and I saw R2-D2 and C-3PO and I thought, yeah, that's what I want to do. So day to day here we use lots of cool technology. Of course we use robots and as part of those robots they have interesting things on board like sensors. Um, that might be camera based systems, there might be encoders that measure the joints. Using depth cameras, using lidars, using laser systems but as well as using different types of end effectors for the robot, so all types of manipulators, grippers, suction cups, all that sort of stuff. We of course also use 3D printers to prototype and a lot of mechanical parts as well. There's a lot of special mechanical engineering that's done here when we need to do a special job. So some of the STEM activities that are relevant uh, to robotics are uh, mathematics, which is incredibly important. Um, you really need to understand your maths to become an engineer. Um, we are very interested in people that know computer programming. The modern era and particularly robotics is very heavily reliant on programming and of course um, students these days do that at school which is fantastic. We also need people that love building things so mechanical engineering is a fantastic thing. Uh, electrical engineering is vital and electronics. Um, so we, and it, really robotics is a combination of all those things so we tend to need teams of people to work together to actually build robots. So to anybody interested in studying robotics, uh, in high school I did the advanced level of mathematics and actually biology, funnily enough, but in university I actually studied a Bachelor of Engineering majoring in mechatronics at QUT. A lot of the people I work with are mechatronics engineers and mechatronics is a blend of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, electronics and computer science. I moved to QUT and became Professor of Robotics and my remit there was to expand the robotics activity at QUT and my passion now has become how to get manufacturing industry to adopt robotics and this is particularly small manufacturing industries where they typically wouldn't use robots and how they can adopt robots to help their business. So from school I went and did uh, aerospace engineering at university and I was fascinated by spacecraft design I then moved on to do a PhD at the same university doing computer vision and that was in the area of driverless cars. And my particular part of that was from the, your robot driverless car, how does that car see other cars? I then moved to Australia and started in the area of mining robotics and particularly vision systems for robots in mines so they could kind of see what they're doing. I then went into the area of underwater robots, flying robots, uh, we started to do some of the first work in Australia on so-called UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, and we developed again vision-based systems for these helicopters to fly around all by themselves. I then moved to QUT uh, and became a professor of robotics at QUT, and now I kind of have a very wide remit to investigate all sorts of robotics, and I'm particularly interested at the moment in uh, robots that help manufacturing. What I find fascinating about my job is all the diverse things that we get to do and being able to do my part in helping to revive the manufacturing industry in Australia. I'm most proud of the fact that when we started robotics in Brisbane back in the mid-90s it was a very tiny niche thing and now it's a big deal. Brisbane is pretty much the centre of robotics in Australia uh, and it's only growing. So what I'm most proud of is the collaborative nature of all the work that we do here and as well as the multidisciplinary teams that we get to work in and how we all get to grow and learn from each other. The ultimate question for me is how to build a robot that can learn by itself. <laughs>